Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is a wonderful easy stitch. It's stitch pattern number 90 and it's called the Crunch Stitch. This is an excellent pattern for beginners and advanced crocheters as well who just want something simple to make while they're watching TV or just a nice relaxing pattern. Now this pattern is made using a slip stitch and a half double crochet and I'll walk you right through it. It's very easy to do. I have three samples here and my first sample is this multicolored sample here and I use Karen Simply Soft Stripes and this is the color number... 19006 Times Square. Beautiful pinks, blues, and purples. Just works up wonderful. And this is working all in the same color. And then my second sample here, I done just using the basic white. And you can see that texture in this pattern. Just a wonderful, nice texture. This is wonderful for just about anything from dishcloths to pot holders to baby blankets just a nice elegant delicate textured stitch and this is the classic this was soft white with red heart super saver and then I made a sample changing colors every two rows and if you change colors every two rows then you can carry that yarn up the side and it's no changing colors you just pick up that other color and just continue working and carry it right up the side so you only have your starting and ending ends to weave in and I did this in our school colors we're in Jersey Shore Pennsylvania and our school colors are orange and black and you can see this would make a wonderful afghan if you have a college student a high school student or even if you want to support your team and make a scarf out of this pattern is a wonderful idea as well just pick up those school colors and whip one of these right out we're going to get started on this pattern. It's just a one row repeat. We have our base row and then we have our repeat row. And I'm using this beautiful Stitch Studio by Nicole in Studio Basics. And this color is Vertigris. Uh, it's just a beautiful blue color. So I'm going to attach my yarn to my hook. I'm using a size 10J, which is a six millimeter hook for this stitch pattern today. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, uh, just use whatever hook size is recommended on your yarn label if you're not sure what hook size to, to use. And I'll be right back to get this pattern started. So I have attached my yarn to my hook. You can use whatever method you prefer. I just use a double knot. Now this stitch pattern has a multiple of two plus one. So I'm just going to do a short sample swatch today and I'm going to chain 11. Now you can make a bigger swatch or you can just chain 11 and work with me. So yarn over the hook, pull through that loop. That's your first chain and this does not count as a chain yarn over pull through that's two yarn over pull through that's three continue until you have 11 chains and i'll be right back to start row one i have my 11 chains made so now we're going to begin row one we're going to start by skipping these first two chain and we're going to insert into this third chain and work a slip stitch so skip one two insert into that third chain and work a slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull back through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to start and work a half double crochet into the next chain and a slip stitch into the next chain and we're going to work that across. That's the repeat. Yarn over the hook insert into that very next chain, yarn over the hook, pull it back through that chain, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You just made your half double crochet. You're going to slip stitch into this next chain, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain, and pull it through the loop on your hook. 
that's the end of the repeat. So you're just going to repeat that across. So I'm going to work right across the row with you. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain, yarn over the hook, pull back through that chain. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, and pull through all three loops. You just made your half double crochet. You're going to slip stitch into this next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Your repeat is finished. We're going to do it two more times across. Yarn over, insert into that next chain, and work your half double crochet. Insert into the next chain and work a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through the chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain, and work your half double crochet. And we're ending with a slip stitch into that last chain. Insert your hook into that last chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Row 1 is finished, and now we're going to start row 2, which is our repeat row. We're going to start row 2 by chaining 2. 1, 2. You're going to turn your work. Now you're on the back side of your work, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to know where your stitches are. Every stitch that has the bar in front of it is your half double crochet. Every stitch in between is your slip stitch. So when you chain two, when we just chain two, this counts as our first half double crochet. And if you look at your work, this is your first stitch. So this chain two counts as this stitch. So you're going to skip this stitch here. So when you turn your work, you're going to skip this first stitch because this chain two acts as that first stitch. So you want to slip stitch into the first half double crochet. So when you're looking at your work, look for that bar. That is your first half double crochet. And if you look, every other stitch has that bar. So these are your half double crochets. Now when working this pattern, make sure you do not go in that bar. You turn your work slightly and you'll see your loops are over here. It's almost like on the back side. You're not seeing it because this is the wrong side of your work. So skip this first stitch here. You're going to slip stitch into this first half double crochet stitch. So you're going to come up to the top. You're going to go in that front strand of yarn and then you're going to go into the one behind it. You want to work in both loops on top of these stitches. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're going to work a half double crochet into the slip stitch. And again, you can tell the slip stitch because it's in between these two big stitches with the bars. This one does not have a bar. So if you look at that stitch, it's just kind of crammed right in the middle of these two big stitches. So yarn over, insert into that next stitch, and you're going to go under both of those top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. You just made your half double crochet. This half double crochet was the start of the repeat. You're going to insert into the top of the next half double crochet. Again, look for that bar that runs across the front of the stitch. Then turn your work slightly, insert your hook above that bar into that top loop and to the one behind. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Your repeat is finished. You're going to start again. We're going to work a half double crochet into this slip stitch, and that slip stitch is that small stitch in between these two bars. So this is your half double crochet, that's your slip stitch, and your half double crochet has this bar right across the front. So again, we're going to work a half double crochet in the slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, come up into that top loop, and then go 
into the one behind it. You can turn your work slightly and you can see it. Yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops. Now you're going to work your slip stitch in your next half double crochet. Again, that half double crochet has the bar going across the front of it. Do not work in that bar. Go above this bar into that top stitch, top loop, and then you're going to go into the one behind. Yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. That was your repeat. So we're going to do it two more times yarn over the hook, you're going to go into that next slip stitch which is between those two horizontal bars here and you're going to go right under that stitch into the top loop and then in the one behind. Yarn over the hook, pull back through that stitch, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and pull through three loops. We're going to slip stitch in this next half double crochet. Again, look for that bar going across the middle of that stitch. You're going to go above this bar. Go into that top loop. Turn your work and go into the one behind. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now the hardest part of this pattern are the last two stitches. Now this yarn isn't too bad, it's a number four medium weight. The, the thinner the yarn, the harder these two last stitches are to see. So you know that you're going to end your row with a slip stitch. So we need to do our repeat one more time. We're going to work a half double crochet into this ending slip stitch. So you can see this stitch right here. So yarn over, insert into that slip stitch work under both strands of that stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through three loops. So you're over at the row and it kind of looks like there's nothing here and that's where you will make your mistakes if you're working this pattern. You always end with a slip stitch in the top of that turning chain too. It's very hard to see, so when you do that last stitch, you just come right over to that left side, insert your hook, and work a slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull through the top of that turning chain too, and pull through the loop on your hook. Again, this is the hardest part is to remember that it looks like there's nothing there, but you need to put that slip stitch into that top of that last turning chain too. So that's the repeat. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm not going to go as slow. I'm just going to do the stitches with you. So you're just going to repeat row two and you're going to chain two. One, two. You're going to turn your work and again, this chain two counts as your first half double crochet, so you're going to skip this first stitch. We're going to insert our hook right above that half double crochet on that bar. So this is your half double crochet because the bar's there. We're going to insert into the top above that bar. Please do not work in that bar or it'll mess up your pattern. Insert into that top loop and then in the one behind and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through your hook. Your slip stitch is between these two bars right here in the middle of those two half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet into that slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that slip stitch and work your half double crochet. Now I explained it enough to know you for you to know that these are your half double crochet so I'm just going to work across. Slip stitch in the top of that next half double crochet Yarn over, insert into that next slip stitch going under both loops and work your half double crochet. Insert into the top of that next half double crochet and slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next slip stitch going under both, both of those loops. It's hard to see with this yarn, it's pushing together. Yarn over, pull through, and work that half double crochet. 
insert into the top of that next half double crochet and slip stitch. We're coming to the last two stitches and when you get there and you're not sure and you're new at crocheting, turn your work. You'll see when you see this last stitch, it's really easy to see, you put your half double crochet into the last stitch and then we have our turning chain two. So yarn over, insert into that slip stitch under those two strands and work your half double crochet. Again, it looks like you're at the end of the row, but you need to come over here. There's a chain two. The best thing to do is just go right into that stitch beside. Don't try to figure out each chain. The top chain is the one you need, so just insert right into that stitch beside your half double crochet you made, and you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that top of that chain two, and through the loop on your hook. So that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a wonderful stitch. Once you get the hang of ending your rows, starting and ending, then it's a wonderful stitch to work. You can see that beautiful texture. Again, you can work it in a multicolor, choose those school colors, or just do a classic off white or white. Again, this is stitch of the week number 90. It's called the Crunch Stitch. It is available on my website, creativegrandma.net. Just go to the website, click in the top right hand corner where it says Stitch of the Week. You can scroll down, click on the name of the stitch, and it'll let you download that downloadable pattern for free. All my stitches of the week are free. You can download one, you can download them all, get a notebook, start your little crochet library, and get creative with crocheting. So thank you everyone for stopping by my channel. Please make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the crochet fun. Make sure you enter all the giveaways, check out all the stitch of the week, and check out some of those wonderful crochet projects I have. Thank you everybody, and happy crocheting.